It's not going to be pretty. Oh. <laughs> Each team plays 162 games. So the chance of something going bad is, you'd think, pretty high. And that was not a strike. Most people don't go out there and look at it like it's a competitive event. <laughs> That's it for the mayor. <laughs> it's more, as they call it, ceremonial. It's not, you know, for an athletic test. The Mariners asked me, would I throw a first pitch? And of course, like I look at it like it's a tryout. There's a guy at ESPN named Derek Kamagan. He's one of my friends there. He's my producer on the 11 o'clock Sports Center. And we bet on things often. So he says, what's, what's your number? What are you going to throw? And I just, without really thinking too long, I said, I don't know, I think I hit like 75. And I immediately told him, you have no shot. No shot. Joining us on field, throwing out this evening's ceremony of first pitch, please welcome ESPN personality and Washington's very own Kenny Maine. Kenny has been making it a goal to crack 75 miles an hour. I really don't think that'd be even that big of an achievement if he, if he threw it 75 miles an hour. It should be way over that. I'd say he has a better chance of throwing 75 baseballs one mile an hour. <laughs> I wish I'd made that bet instead of the other ones. <laughs> I didn't have the chronology. I can't even remember the trade. Kenny and I both went to UNLV. Kenny was quarterback for the football team. When I first got there, I said, nah, I'm not going to be playing for a while. <laughs> you know, once I saw the gunslinger, man, <laughs> his brother would throw off his left foot, his right foot. It didn't matter and it would look sweet. So like, I was in awe, like, thank God he's a senior. You know, he ain't gonna be here next year. After he graduated college, he tried out for the Seahawks and they actually had signed him and then he failed the physical. Then he went into a little bit of a depression because throwing was what he had always done. He's not enough work. Great, I'm gonna go eat. He's a great former athlete who doesn't like the fact that he's a former athlete. One of the first times I met him, he threw a football. And he was trying to impress me, I think. He threw it so hard, I ended up with an X on my arm from the tip of the ball that was there for two weeks. He felt bad, because he didn't mean to hurt me. But I think he was secretly proud that he threw that hard. Well, Maine's an athletic guy. You know, uh, Maine can throw a football. I have seen Maine throw a softball. I was invited to play in that softball game they have at the All-Star break for like seven, eight years in a row. Good job by Maine. No, play at the plate. They got him. How about that? Justin Tuck is thrown out at the plate. His first bit of training was just obsessively talking about it. So he had to think about it, talk about it. And then out in Seattle, he called up a training camp. So you definitely want me to stick with from the stretch, not trying to do a full wind up. Uh, yeah, based on what we saw yesterday, I think that the stretch delivery is probably best for you. We're only 10 miles an hour away. Yeah. I don't want to put too much on one throw, certainly, but it kind of feels like it's going to substantiate the value of my whole life. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. We found our delivery. That least. was the one. That's the one. We found our delivery. We've got to find five miles in three days. Yeah. You said that you got close to 75, like really close. 72, your... 73, wild pitch, 73. I think that's close enough, honestly. <laughs> my, my trainer said I'm going to get three or four miles per hour just in the moment. Just the moment will give like me. Like the adrenaline yeah. of it. I got my jersey, knee brace thing. Sock, sock, roller, white flower analgesic balm. I just noticed that it says best if used before April of 2015. We don't need the best from the magic Chinese balm. We just need whatever it has left. I got nice notes from uh, Neil Everett, nice note from Scott Van Pelt. Neil Everett said, if you FaceTime afterward, we will broadcast. So he's really just thinking about his show. How are you doing? Hi, I'm Taylor. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Are Where, you ready for no. this? Where did those heavy balls go? 
We're doing, I'm doing everything they told me to do to get ready. Kenny, just relax, pay the guy off and go to the next deal. <laughs> he ain't got no chance hitting 75. I would say he has tried a lot harder than anyone I've ever seen <laughs> when it comes to warming up for the first pitch. Last one. Stay clear. Let's do this. Kenny has been making it a goal to crack 75 miles an hour. He's been working hard to crack that barrier. Let's see how he does. And 68, uh, uh, oh well. I think it said curveball. I think I was upset with myself that I didn't trust myself. Like I, I pulled back a hair so that I wouldn't have some horrible incident and throw it into the ground or hit some photographer 20 feet away. Uh, I just don't see why he wouldn't be in the full windup. Is he worried about somebody stealing on him? I call it disappointing. To use a baseball analogy, I mean, he shouldn't have lost his fastball. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.